is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 2nd of October, 2021. The birthday of Graham Greene, born in Hertfordshire, England, 1904. Studied history at Oxford, came out with a volume of poetry, became a journalist, got married, was received into the Roman Catholic Church. Graham Greene, who thought of his work as being divided into two categories, the serious literary novels, including The Power and the Glory and The End of the Affair, and the entertainments, as he called them, Brighton Rock, Our Man in Havana, The Third Man, thrillers, spy novels, books of suspense and intrigue. It was on this day, 1950, the comic strip Peanuts, illustrated, written by Charles M. Schultz, was first published. Charles Schultz, who began every morning with a jelly donut, sat down, tried to think of an idea. He produced all aspects of Peanuts by himself, including the final art and lettering. It's the birthday of King Richard III of England, born at Fotheringay Castle in Northamptonshire, 1452. He was the 11th child of the Duke of York. He was the last of the Plantagenet dynasty, which had held the throne since 1154. He fought at Bosworth Field in the final battle of the Wars of the Roses, and there Richard III became the last English king to die on the battlefield. He was 32. He had reigned for only two years. And his opponent, Henry Tudor, then became King Henry VII. He has a bad reputation, Richard III. Shakespeare was not kind to him in his play. Richard did imprison his young nephews, one of whom was about to be crowned king, imprisoned them in the Tower of London, spread gossip about them, said they were illegitimate, took the throne for himself, was crowned that July, and the little princes disappeared in August, their fate still a mystery. It's the birthday of Wallace Stevens, the poet, born in Reading, Pennsylvania, 1879, worked as an executive for the Hartford Accident and Indemnity Company, walked two miles to and from work every day, and that's when he wrote his poems, writing down lines on slips of paper, gave them to his secretary to type up when he got to the office. And The Twilight Zone had its premiere on this date in 1959, created by Rod Serling. It ran for five seasons, and it gave its audience a glimpse of many actors who went on to become big stars. Robert Redford, William Shatner, Robert Duvall, Dennis Hopper, Carol Burnett. It also featured old stars like Buster Keaton and Mickey Rooney. Here's a poem by Wallace Stevens on his birthday, his poem, The Emperor of Ice Cream. Call the roller of big cigars, the muscular one, and bid him whip in kitchen cups, concupiscent curds. Let the wenches dawdle in such dress as they are used to wear, and let the boys bring flowers in last month's newspapers. Let be be finale obscene. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Take from the dresser of deal, lacking the three glass knobs, that sheet on which she embroidered fantails once, and spread it so as to cover her face. If her horny feet protrude, they come to show how cold she is and dumb. Let the lamp affix its beam. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Wallace Stevens's poem, The Emperor of Ice Cream. That's the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, October the 2nd. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>